What is going on guys and welcome back to another video here on Loud and Proud. I just want to remind you really quick in the beginning of this video that tomorrow is your final day where this is the final 24 hours to enter to win this truck plus $5,000 cash. And not only that, but every $1 is 20 entries to win this truck, which this is the only time we're running that deal. And on top of that, every single order gets random cash back in it. It could be five, 10, 20, 50, 100, 200, all random amounts going in every single order. So don't waste any time if you wanna to enter to win this truck plus five grand, it ends September 9th at 11.59 p.m. One last close look, you want the truck. You get your option between these wheels and tires, which is the more classic setup, or some 24s if you want those instead. It's a beaut. It's a beaut. Fresh bed liner. If you want it, link in description, lmpgear.com. The property here, we're gonna be doing some work in terms of like a bush hog. Well, where's the bush hog? Okay. No, I thought it was hooked up. Oh my gosh. It's not a big deal, but we gotta hook the bush hog up. I didn't realize it wasn't hooked up. We're gonna get that hooked up. We're gonna do some bush hogging. Dooley's driving much better. We still want to look into the brake lines. They feel a little bit spongy, like there's some air in the lines or something. And you have to push down the brake pedal a little bit more than normal or more than you should have to to get it to stop the truck stops fine but it just there's not much tension behind the pedal so it almost just feels weird like even though the truck stops just fine it almost feels like the lines need to be bled a little bit better as soon as you start to hit the brakes you start to feel some pressure not like 50 percent applied then you start to feel it you know what i'm saying and another thing is we got to drop this thing off for paint soon the hood's pretty faded in a couple spots the roof is completely faded up top the rust is pretty bad on the rocker panels and cab corner. They're completely gone down here. So we're gonna get that all done. Like other than the doors, most of the whole cab needs repainted. And then some of this little stuff just needs like touched up and fixed. Probably gonna do the top of the bed rail, stuff like that. Now we're gonna get the bush hog hooked up, get to doing some mowing. Ah! You get it? Yeah. Dumb, stupid, or dumb. What we were doing was dumb, stupid, and dumb. We got this place looking in top shape now. So we got this all mowed up over here. He was drawing a T for Trump, Trump 2020. We got this all mowed up over here. Just checked the trail camera over here. And uh, I told him he absolutely cannot hunt this spot on opening day due to the photos that I just witnessed on this camera, this cheap $30 Menards camera. So we're gonna get to mowing a little bit more, get a little bit more done. We just tried to basically clean up around those beans, clean up around this area here, just try to clean up stuff that's just getting overgrown before it gets too overgrown. And then we're just gonna pick you guys up once we're wrapping up. Okay, update on the food plot. We definitely way overseeded this thing. I wasn't sure about two weeks ago, but it's definitely overseeded. Because if you look at like these plants, for example, in the corner, they are huge. And then if you look at all the ones like in the middle where it's all much closer together and there's a lot more competition for water, not as big. So I'm not sure how that video turned out or not, but I wanna to talk to you guys about something real quick before we leave the property. I don't really have anything else going on today. I'm gonna to pick up a video tomorrow morning though that hopefully is a little bit a little bit more entertaining than this one was or wasn't, I don't know. Reagan and I are uh, looking at the potential of buying some ground in Ohio. We, all, I mean, we're already buying one property in Ohio. We're thinking about buying another property in Ohio soon to build our dream house on. And if you are a contractor, you are in the home building business, um, you work in that field or in that world and you understand how it works, I got a couple questions. First off, uh, right now in today's market, is it a good or horrible time to look into that idea? Another thing is the house building process wouldn't be until like April or May, probably. It could be sooner, 
but we probably would start it in the spring, not like right now when it's going into the dead of winter. We wanna get the idea going, we wanna get the ball rolling. If there's anybody out there that has some of the inside scoop on what that stuff costs, and uh, I could pick your brain, that would be great. Hit me up on Instagram or leave a comment and let me know, say, hey, I sent you a message. I know a lot about this kind of stuff. I can give you some input on the current market, what things are doing, and kind of like an idea, general ballpark of what it's gonna, it could cost you. So if that makes a big difference on pricing and stuff like that, let me know. Not like ready to you know break ground and do something right now, but you know within the next few months, we're gonna be wanting to get that ball rolling, and we just want to have an idea of you know numbers and costs and things that you got to look for. Uh, just to be oh, fully aware of what you're getting yourself into. Uh, it's just really hard to find a house right now. And maybe it's just like because of the current market or maybe it's because of the area, which is Worcester, Ohio. It is really hard to find like what we need because the next place we buy, we just want to be there and be done. Okay, we don't want to be that, that couple that like goes house to house to house to house to house. And then there's always something they just don't like about it five years into it and then they dump it, you know? We want to actually do what we want and build what we want and be happy with our choice. I don't really want to move a bunch. And since we don't have to move for work, it's a little bit of a different situation. That's why I want it to be like one and done. This is what we truly want and go that route. The current house that we're in, just so you guys are understanding, we bought it because the first house that we were in, we were actually renting and it was an expensive rent, but they actually put the house up for sale and they said you've got like 60 days to you know, basically relocate and then the house needs to be empty. So we're like, oh crap. So we found that small farmhouse it's with you know a few acres of pasture and the barn and whatever. And it was like 10 minutes from where we were already at. We're like, okay, let's buy this. We gotta move, boom. And that's what we did. It wasn't really like, oh, let's really buy like our dream house. We didn't have time to do that, you know, not to like wait it out or even to build something like hunt down the perfect place when you've got a letter that says you got 60 days. So that's why we bought that place. Um, but in reality, this is what we wanna do. We either wanna find the ideal piece of property, even if the house isn't immaculate and maybe do a full renovation to make it what we truly want or addition onto it or something like that. Or ideally, depending on the differences, also let me know if there's anybody out there that knows the differences, like the pros and cons to doing like an addition or renovation to a house versus just starting from scratch and building exactly what you want from the from the blueprint pros and cons for that kind of stuff too if somebody has some information for me and also with a nice big shop like this big one here that we were just in like it's kind of it's hard to do since there's very very slim options out there especially for what we really want even if we find a place that's like oh it's got the bedrooms and bathrooms but the house was built in like the 80s and it's like never been updated so everything needs done everything needs redone like the flooring the paint the trim windows the exterior needs work like all kinds of stuff but it's just kind of like do we really want to do all of that i don't know if anybody has some helpful information in that area send me a message anyways guys thank you so much for watching hopefully guys enjoyed the video remember obs giveaway ends tomorrow night or if you're watching this on the night it ends tonight so yeah don't waste any time 28 centuries cash in every order you're going to get the option between 24s or the 16s and that truck comes with five thousand dollars cash if you want to enter to win it link in the description lmpgear.com i'll catch you guys in tomorrow's video peace